D, don't fall for it. D will play these stories for you over and over and over again all day long so that the last thing you'll want to do is upset the apple cart. Because yes, you, you, you too might be rich. President, Oscar winner someday. The message though is clear. Keep your head down. Keep your nose to the grindstone. Don't rock the boat. Be sure to vote for the party that protects the rich man that you might be someday. And here's the second smart thing the wealthy have done. They've created a poison pill that they know you will never want to take. It's their version of mutually assured destruction. And when they threaten to release this weapon of mass economic annihilation in September of 2008, we blinked as the economy and the stock market went into a tailspin. And the banks were caught conducting a worldwide Ponzi scheme. Wall Street issued this threat. Either hand over trillions of dollars from the American taxpayers or we will crash this economy straight into the ground. Crash it straight into the ground. There's a word for that, isn't there? Terrorism. It's a form of terrorism, isn't it? Fork it over or it's goodbye savings accounts. Fork it over or it's goodbye pensions. Fork it over, or it's goodbye United States Treasury. Fork it over, or it's goodbye jobs and homes and future. It was friggin' awesome. And it scared the crap out of everyone. Here, take our money. We don't care. We'll even print more for you. Just take it. But please, please leave our lives alone, please. The executives in the boardrooms and hedge funds could not contain their laughter or their glee. And within months, they were writing each other huge bonus checks and marveling at how perfectly they had played a nation full of suckers. Millions, millions lost their jobs anyway, and millions lost their homes, but there, was no revolt until now. Michigander been more happy to share a great big lake with you. I am so proud of you. You have aroused a sleeping giant known as the working people of the United States of America. Right now, the earth is shaking and the ground is shifting under the feet of those who are in charge. Your message, your message has inspired people in all 50 states. And that message is, we have had it. Now. 
we rejected anyone who tells us that Wisconsin or America is broke or broken. It's just the opposite. We are rich with talent and ideas and hard work and yes, love. Love. Love and compassion for those who have, through no fault of their own, ended up as the least among us. But they too still crave what we all crave, our country back, yeah. our democracy back, yeah. our good name back, yeah. the United States of America, not the corporate states of America. We do it with a little bit of Egypt here and a little bit of Madison there. Woo! And let's pause for a moment and remember that it was a poor man with a fruit stand in Tunisia who gave his life so that the world might focus its attention on how a government run by billionaires for billionaires is an affront to freedom, morality, and humanity. Thank you, Wisconsin. You have made you have made people realize that right now is our last best chance to grab the final thread of what is left. What is left for us is who we are as Americans. For three weeks you have stood in the cold, slept on the floor, skipped out of town to Illinois. <laughs> Whatever it took, you've done it. And one thing is certain, Madison is only the beginning. <laughs> you know how the funny thing about this is, is that the rich have overplayed their hand. You know, they couldn't have been just content with the money that they raided from our treasury. They couldn't, they couldn't be satisfied by simply removing millions of jobs and shipping them overseas. No! They had to have more, didn't they? Something more, something more though, they wanted than all the riches in the world. They had to have our soul. They had to strip us, our, our teachers, of their dignity. They had to shut us up and shut us down so that we weren't even allowed at the table to bargain about, about a simple thing like classroom size or bulletproof vests for the entire police force or letting a pilot a pilot just get a few extra hours sleep so he or she can do their job. Their $19,000 a year job. When I came in here on Delta Express, just like all those commuter planes, the starting pay is approximately $19,000 a year. They don't fly on those planes, do they? But you know, that pilot who's making 19000 a year, he or she has given up trying to get better pay. At this point, all they want is a few extra hours of sleep in their car in the parking lot of O'Hare Airport. That's what I have to listen to when I fly to places like this. And that's how despicably low that we've sunk. The wealthy couldn't be tent couldn't be content with just paying this man $19,000 a year. They wanted to take away his friggin' sleep. They wanted to demean 
and dehumanize them just as they do the public workers here in this state. Because after all, he's just another slob. Finally, to the media who are here, please, please tell this story correctly. I've only been here an hour, and I'm shocked by what I've seen and I haven't seen watching this on television or reading it in the mainstream papers. You know, all the pundits said they were caught by surprise when Egypt revolted. And they don't still understand after nearly three weeks what's going on in Madison. They're completely, they're completely flummoxed by it because they're like, well, but, but, there was an election in November. Oh, what's going on here? Well, there's something happening here, and you don't know what it is, do you? Finally, America, again, isn't broke. The only thing that's broke is the moral compass of the rulers. And we, we aim to fix that compass and steer the ship ourselves from this point on. Please never forget that as long as that Constitution of ours still stands, it's one person, one vote. And, and that is the thing that the rich hate the most about America. No matter how hard they try to buy the votes, no matter how hard they try to own the political process, when it comes down to it, it's one person, one vote. And there's a hell of a lot more of us than there are of them. Madison, thank you. You are the truth. You are not alone. America is with you. America thanks you. Madison, 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 Madison. We're going to do this together. Don't give up. Please don't. Thank you very Um, thank you again. We love you, everything you've done. Don't stop, though. Don't stop. And to the Wisconsin 14, hang in there, buddies. Every one of you men and women. On behalf of the Wisconsin Wave and all the people of Wisconsin, thank you to Michael Moore for coming out and joining us here. We have courage! You have courage! Yeah. All right, and please recognize, please recognize leaders of our firefighters. Yeah. I want to present Michael with a button to the Wisconsin Wave.